Some of the challenges that I faced as a woman in business um, over the years has been limited and limiting perceptions. And that's why, you know, I uh, lean very heavily on data and uh, evidence. People have a tendency to say, well, what does a social worker do? And when you say, you know, how do you do, how do you describe that? You I mean, you solve problems all day long, you try to educate people. I guess that was the biggest challenge, um, just kind of defining what was expected of me and um, what, what I could contribute to the community and be the best at whatever I was doing. Some of the contributing factors that helped me achieve um, had a lot to do with who took me under their wings. I used to get so excited when he used to ask me to go to the print shop and pick up his blueprints. He'd roll them out and I wouldn't leave. And he was like, okay, and I'd start asking questions. And um, his name is Terry, he's still alive, and he never ever told me to stop asking questions, um, which gave me confidence. Um, to be inquisitive. There were some people in my life that, that recognized something that I guess I probably hadn't even or didn't know or wasn't aware of in my, myself. And um, one of those folks happens to be Pat Kawana. And Pat asked me what my goals were. And, you know, I said, you know, I, I want to grow. You know, I love to learn and I want to contribute. And um, Pat referred me to the administrator and, and, and training program which allows someone to um, go through a program where you can become a licensed nursing home administrator. Worked at corporate offices uh, for Fortune 500 companies in Los Angeles and in California overall. And um, what I learned from women leaders in those capacities, they took on what I considered to be an added responsibility of proving themselves in stride. And that was very powerful to me. That's a strength that I think young women today can emulate and actually take up a notch or two. Everybody comes to the table with their little bit of expertise. Um, and I think that as a team, that's important. And that's what I try to teach to my, my division, how important each little piece is for the whole picture. On my personal journey, I would like to own my own business. I would like to open a coffee cafe that represents global perspectives on something as simple as a coffee drink, but how it's a way of being able to interact with people, share time and space with people, learn each other's stories, wake up in the morning, have a nice afternoon together. Um, so I'll own my own business in the future. I want to be able to support and mentor um, other folks that are going into this profession, um, into the healthcare industry. Own your achievements, own opportunity, make the most of everything, and just walk into every situation not being afraid. <laughs>